High Wycombe, often referred to as just Wycombe, is a large town in Buckinghamshire, England. It is 29 miles west northwest of Charing Cross in London. This information is also engraved on the Corn Market building in the center of the town. According to the 2011 census High Wycombe has a population of 120,256 making it the second largest town in the county of Buckinghamshire after Milton Keynes. The High Wycombe urban area, the conurbation of which the town is the largest component, has a population of 133,204. High Wycombe is mostly an unparished area in the Wycombe district. Part of the urban area constitutes the civil parish of Chepping Wycombe, which had a population of 14,455 according to the 2001 census a euro. This parish represents that part of the ancient parish of Chepping Wycombe which was outside the former municipal borough of Wycombe. Wycombe is a combination of industrial and market town, with a traditional emphasis on furniture production. There has been a market held in the high street since at least the Middle Ages. History Early history. The name Wycombe comes from the River Wye and the Old English word for a wooded valley, Coombe. Wycombe appears in the Doomsday Book and was noted for having six mills. The town once featured a Roman villa which was excavated three times, most recently in 1954. Mosaics and a bathhouse were unearthed at the site on what is now the Rye Parkland. High Wycombe was the home of Prime Minister Benjamin Disraeli. The existence of a settlement at High Wycombe was first documented as Wycombe in 970. The parish church was consecrated by Wolf Stan, the visiting Bishop of Worcester, in 1086. The town received market borough status in 1222, and built its first moot hall in 1226, with a market hall being built later in 1476. Trade and industrial development, High Wycombe remained a mill town through medieval and Tudor times manufacturing lace and linen cloth. It was also a stopping point on the way from Oxford to London, with many travellers staying in the town's taverns and inns. The paper industry was notable in 17th and 18th century High Wycombe. The Wise waters were rich in chalk, and therefore ideal for bleaching pulp. The paper industry was soon overtaken by the cloth industry. Wycombe's most famous industry, furniture took hold in the 19th century with furniture factories setting up all over the town. Many terraced workers' houses were built to the east and west of town to accommodate those working in the furniture factories. In 1875, it was estimated that there were 4,700 chairs made per day in High Wycombe. When Queen Victoria visited the town in 1877, the council organized an arch of chairs to be erected over the high street with the words Long Live the Queen printed boldly across the arch for the Queen to pass under. The town's population grew from 13,000 residents in 1881 to 29,000 in 1928. Wickham was completely dominated socially and economically by the furniture industry and, consequently, there was considerable unemployment and social problems when the industry declined in the 1960s. 20th century, by the 1920s, Many of the housing areas of Wickham had decayed into slums. A slum clearance scheme was initiated by the council in 1932, whereby many areas were completely demolished and the residents rehoused in new estates that sprawled above the town on the valley slopes. Some of the districts demolished were truly decrepit, such as Newland, where most of the houses were condemned as unfit for human habitation with sewage pouring down the street and people sharing one room in cramped quarters of subdivided flats. However, some areas such as St. Mary's Street contain beautiful old buildings with fine examples of 18th and 19th century architecture. From 1940 to 1968 High Wycombe was the seat of the RAF Bomber Command. Moreover, during World War II, from May 1942 to July 1945, the U.S. Army Air Force's 8th Air Force Bomber Command, codenamed Pine Tree, was based at a former girls' school at High Wycombe. This formerly became headquarters, 8th Air Force, on February 22, 1944. Since 1968 all commands of the Royal Air Force have been housed at RAF High Wycombe. In the 1960s the town centre was redeveloped. This involved culverting the River Wye under concrete and demolishing most of the old buildings in Wickham's town centre. 
two shopping centers were built along with many new multi-story car parks, office blocks, flyovers and roundabouts. On the open area known as Frogmore the original cast iron fountain and some Georgian buildings have been torn down. A recent town center regeneration project originally planned to uncover the why, but in a change of plans a new shopping center has been built over the whole area, right up to the road which runs parallel with the river. Modern day High Wycombe, High Wycombe comprises a number of suburbs including Booker, Bowardeen, Castlefield, Cressex, Dawes Hill, Green Street, Homer's Farm, Micklefield, Sands, Terriers, Totteridge and Wycombe Marsh, as well as some nearby villages, Downley, Hyslemia and Tyler's Green. Although situated in the county of Buckinghamshire, which is one of the most affluent parts of the country, Wickham contains some considerably deprived areas. In 2007, a GMB Union survey ranked the Wickham district as the fourth dirtiest in the southeast and the 26th dirtiest in the whole UK. The survey found litter on 28.5% of streets and highways. Data for the survey were taken from the government's 2005-06 audit commission. The town has recently undergone major redevelopment including development of the town's existing shopping centre, completion of the new Eden shopping centre, and redevelopment of the Buckinghamshire New University with a large student village and new building on Queen Alexandra Road. These developments prompted the building of larger blocks of flats, a new multi-million pound hotel in the centre, and a new Sainsbury's store on the Oxford Road next to the Eden shopping centre and bus station. Demographics High Wycombe's population figure differs with the varying definitions of the town's area. For the town proper it is often given as 77,178. However, Hyslemia is now regarded as part of Wycombe, which makes the population of High Wycombe town 92,300. The High Wycombe urban area has a population of 133,204 which is approximately a 13% increase on the 2001 population of 118,229. Notes, Hyslemia Tyler's Green and Bourne End Flackwell Heath were included as part of the High Wycombe subdivision in the 2011 census. High Endon Valley and Walters Ash were separate urban areas in the 2001 census. The Walters Ash subdivision includes the village of Knapp Hill. Based on the 2001 census and the 2007 indices of multiple deprivation data, High Wycombe has the lowest proportion of people from the white ethnic group in Buckinghamshire, representing 76% of the population. The next biggest ethnic group in High Wycombe is the Asian and Asian British group, representing 16% of the population. The black black British ethnic group was represented by 5% and the mixed ethnic group by 2% of the population. English is the first language spoken by 66% of school pupils living in High Wycombe. Of the 34% of pupils living in the town whose first language is not English, 19% speak Punjabi and just over 6% Urdu as a first language. Politics Wycombe's political history extends back to 1295. The Wycombe constituency is currently a conservative majority. Notable MPs High Wycombe has been home to two prime ministers, the Earl of Shelburne lived at what is now Wycombe Abbey, Benjamin Disraeli, who lived at nearby High Endon Manor, was defeated as an independent candidate in 1832, but won election in 1868 and 1874 to 1880 as a conservative. Disraeli made his first political speech in Wycombe, from the portico over the door of the Red Lion Hotel on the High Street. Local government the constituency is strongly conservative outside High Wycombe Town. In the town itself the Liberal Democrats have gained some support. Over the years there has been a mix of Labour, Conservative, Liberal Democrats, and UKIP, weighing the mayor, a ceremony carried out in the town since 1678 involves the weighing of the mayor. At the beginning and end of each year of service, the mayor is weighed in full view of the public to see whether or not he has gained weight presumably at the taxpayer's expense. The custom, which has survived to the present day, employs the same weighing apparatus used since the 19th century. When the result is known, the town crier announces, and no more. If the mayor has not gained weight all, and some more. If he has. His actual weight is not declared. 
Education Buckinghamshire is one of the few counties that still has a selective educational system based on the former tripartite system. Students in their last year at primary school take what is commonly known as the 11 plus exam. Their score in this exam determines whether they are accepted into a grammar school or a secondary modern school. Primary schools, catchment area primary schools in High Wycombe, Ash Hill Combined School, Beachview Junior School, Booker Hill Combined School, Castlefield Combined School, Chepping View Combined School, Hamilton Combined School, Hannibal Combined School, Highworth Combined School and Nursery, High Wycombe Church of England Combined School, Kingswood Combined School, Marsh Infant School, Millbrook Combined School, Oak Ridge Combined School Street Michaels Catholic School, the Disraeli Combined School and Children's Centre. Secondary Schools, Cressex Community School, High Crest Academy, John Hampton Grammar School Street Michaels Catholic School, Royal Grammar School, Wickham High School, Sir William Ramsey School, Independent Schools, Crown House School, Godstow Preparatory School, Piper's Corner School, Wickham Abbey, Further and Higher Education, Amersham and Wickham College is a further education college located near High Wickham at Flackwell Heath, with campuses also at Chesham and Amersham. High Wickham is home to the main campus of Buckinghamshire New University. It is located in the centre of the town on the former site of the High Wickham College of Art and Technology. It received its university charter in summer 2007. Media coverage High Wycombe has been featured in the national media in recent years for a number of different reasons, including seasonal coverage of the local library's refusal to display a Christmas carol service poster and other stories such as the triple shooting of three young Asian men, a small-scale riot between feuding families and gangs in which knives, metal poles, and an axe were used whilst a gunman sprayed bullets and the shooting and murder of Natasha Darby at point-blank range in the middle of a busy dance floor at a town centre venue. The town appeared in national and international media after anti-terrorism raids were carried out across the town on August 10, 2006 as part of the 2006 transatlantic aircraft plot. Five arrests were made at three different houses in the town's Totteridge and Micklefield areas. A small number of houses in High Wycombe were evacuated in Walton Drive, which is thought to be because one of the raided houses contained dangerous liquid chemicals. A three-mile no-flight zone over the town was ordered. Other raids and arrests were also made in East London and Birmingham. Kingswood to the north of the town was cordoned off for four months to be searched by police, and many suspicious items were allegedly found including explosives, detonators, weapons and hate tapes. Other woodlands in the Booker area of the town and the M40 at High Wycombe as well as nearby woods were also under observation. Explosives officers were called to the motorway, as were forensic officers. A lane of the motorway was closed as a precaution. On December 21, 2009, heavy snowfall hit the town, paralyzing its road network, and causing major disruption to refuse services for several weeks. Staff and customers of the John Lewis department store were stranded overnight, leading to national news reports and interviews from GMTV and other radio stations on the morning of December 22. Notable residents, entertainment and the media, Colin Baker a Euro actor who played the sixth incarnation of the Doctor in Doctor Who, and columnist for the Bucks Free Press. Judy Boucher a Euro country and R&B singer originally from St. Vincent. Fern Britton a Euro TV presenter. Jimmy Carr a Euro TV and stand-up comedian. He was educated at the Royal Grammar School. James Corden a Euro actor, comedian, writer, producer and television host. Ian Deere a Euro rock and roll singer and songwriter. He was educated at the Royal Grammar School. Joanne Frogat, British actress best known for her role as Anna Bates in Downton Abbey. Adam Paul Harvey a Euro actor. Aaron Taylor Johnson a Euro actor. Howard Jones a Euro singer and songwriter. He was educated at the Royal Grammar School. Jim Jones a Euro former member of The Hypnotics, Black Moses and currently frontman of The Jim Jones Review. Alex Q a Euro actor and musician. Eric Knowles a Euro antiques roadshow presenter, currently lives in the town. Sally Phillips a Euro comic actress. Leanne Pinnock a Euro member of girl band Little Mix, 
winners of the X Factor 2011. Colin T. L. the Euro film and television director. S. Y. Thomas a Euro TV presenter, stand-up comedian and actor. Bill Turnbull a Euro journalist and presenter. Frankie Vaughan a Euro pop singer. Young Guns a Euro high Wickham based band. Mighty Bush stars Noel Fielding and Dave Brown both met when they attended Bucks New University in Wickham. Julian Barat then joined the group after Fielding scouted him performing in the Wickham Swan Theatre. Charlotte Roche a Euro-British born German television presenter, actress, singer and author in March 2008. Dusty Springfield a Euro singer. Ian Stanley a Euro keyboard player with rock band Tears for Fears, Laura Sadler, actress of Grange Hill and Holby City. Sports, Elliot Benyon a Euro footballer with Wickham Wanderers FC. Dominic Blizzard a Euro footballer with Yeovil Town FC, Simon Church a Euro Welsh international footballer. Matt Dawson a Euro scrum half for England rugby union team which won the Rugby World Cup in 2003. He was educated at the Royal Grammar School. Luke Donald a Euro former world number one golfer, educated at the Royal Grammar School. Isa Gerhar a Euro England women's cricketer and women's World Cup winner. Tom Ingram a Euro motor racing driver. Mike Keane a Euro former footballer and manager, winner of the League Cup in 1967. Robbie Kerr a Euro motor racing driver current member of the British A1 GP team. Phil Newport a Euro former Worcestershire and England cricketer. Tom Rees a Euro England and London Wasps rugby flanker. Nicholas Sanders a Euro Olympic athlete. Wolf Slack a Euro Middlesex and England cricketer. Other fields, Heston Blumenthal a Euro celebrity chef and owner of the Michelin three-star Fat Duck restaurant. He was born in the town and educated at John Hampton Grammar School. James Corden a Euro actor and writer. The Metford family a Euro aristocrats. Roger Scruton a Euro philosopher, educated at the Royal Grammar School. Geoffrey de Havilland a Euro aviation pioneer and aircraft engineer. Born at Terrier's house. Benjamin Disraeli a Euro politician, prime minister and literary figure. Eric Gill a Euro sculptor and printmaker. Karl Popper a Euro philosopher. Jean Shrimpton a Euro supermodel. Heather Stewart White a Euro supermodel. Transport, road, the town's nearest motorway is the M40, which has two junctions serving Wickham, Junction 3 for Loudwater and High Wickham and Junction 4 at Handy Cross Roundabout for Central Wickham. Marlow and the surrounding area. Junction 4 is a major interchange between the M40 and A404 Trunk Road. It had suffered from heavy congestion but was improved by the Highways Agency in 2006. Junction 3 is restricted. Only traffic going towards and coming from London can join and exit respectively. The M25 and M4 are also fairly close. Other roads include the A404 towards Marlow and Amersham the A4010 towards Aylesbury, and the A40 towards Beaconsfield and Oxford. Bus, the town has a central bus station attached to the Eden Shopping Centre with most services operated by Carousel Buses and Arriva. Major destinations include Reading, Slough, Aylesbury, Heathrow Airport, Maidenhead, Watford, Chesham, Uxbridge and Bath Humstead. Most recently, First Berkshire added a new express service to Maidenhead to their existing hourly express to Slough. Other operators serving the town include Z and S buses, Red Rose and Reedline. High Wycombe is served by one of Buckinghamshire's Rainbow Routes network of services. Originally piloted in Aylesbury, its success led to a network being set up in the town. Rainbow Routes is a partnership between the county council and local operators Arriva and Carousel Buses. They provide regular services within the town and its suburbs, and this network includes Pink Route 30 a Euro Arriva, every 15 minutes to Downley. Green Route 31 a Euro Arriva, every 15 minutes to Penn and Heislemere. Blue Route 32 a Euro Arriva, every 15 minutes to Micklefield and Booker. Red Route 33 a Euro Arriva, every 12 minutes to Totteridge and Castlefield. Purple Route 3536 a Euro Carousel Buses, every 30 minutes to Flackwell Heath. Orange Route 39 a Euro Carousel Buses, 
every 20 minutes to Hicks Farm. The town also has a park and ride facility located in Cressix, near Junction 4 of the M40. Services run to the town centre, passing the railway station. Coach, the town is currently poorly served by coach services, with only the 737 service from Oxford to Stansted passing through the town. Plans for a high Wickham coachway close to Junction 4 of the M40 and linked to the town by local buses and by park and ride buses are currently under construction. Rail, High Wickham Railway Station, the only railway station in the town, is on the Chiltern Main Line with services to London Marylebone and Birmingham Snow Hill as well as to Aylesbury via Prince's Risborough. The station is the busiest in South Buckinghamshire. It is possible to reach London in 23 minutes on fast trains following recent line upgrades, slower trains take up to 45 minutes. A new link to Oxford via Bicester is due to open in 2015. The Wickham Railway ran from High Wickham to Maidenhead, through Loudwater and Bourne End. However, it was a victim of the beaching acts with the Wickham to Bourne End section closed in the 1970s. The southern section remains open as part of the Marlow Branch Line. Air, Heathrow Airport is the nearest international airport, located just outside Buckinghamshire and Hillingdon. Wickham Air Park on the southern edge of the town is popular with learning pilots and gliders. RAF High Wickham, a station without a runway, is located near the village of Walters Ash near High Wickham. Close by, RAF Dawes Hill is between Flackwell Heath and High Wickham Centre. Facilities and Places of Interest there are two shopping centres, the Eden Centre which spreads from the High Street under the Abbey Way flyover to the south of the A40, and the Chiltern Centre, which is located between Queen's Square and Frogmore to the north. The High Street has a number of 18th and 19th century buildings, and ends at the colonnaded Guildhall that was built in 1757 by Henry Keane and renovated in 1859. The small octagonal shaped corn market opposite, known locally as the Pepper Pot, was rebuilt to designs by Robert Adam in 1761. The large parish church of All Saints was founded in 1086, enlarged in the 18th century, and extensively restored in 1889. There is a large, well-equipped theatre, the Wickham Swan, which hosts many acts and shows before or after their appearance in the West End. In March 2008, a new development of the town centre was completed. This included the demolition and relocation of the bus station and the brand new Eden shopping centre, with 107 shops, new restaurants, a large bowling alley and cinema, and new housing. The old Octagon shopping centre was connected to the new development. The complex, one of the largest in the country, is seen as a major milestone in the regeneration of the town. There are out-of-town retail outlets in the suburbs of Cressix, and Wickham Marsh, where there is small retail park of shops and restaurants including Hobbycraft, PC World, Pets at Home, Home Missing Dam and S Simply Food. Desborough Road provides a secondary shopping area with more independent traders, and a number of takeaways. To the east of the town centre is the extensive Rye Park and Dyke. The park had an outdoor swimming pool, which closed in 2009. The pool has now reopened together with a new gym and has been renamed as the Rye Lido. The River Wye winds through the green space, which is particularly attractive during the summer. Wickham's yearly Asian Mellow takes place on the Rye. There is a museum on Priory Avenue in the town centre situated on its own grounds and including a Norman Castle mound. The theme of the museum is the history of Wickham, with the main focus being the chair industry. Wickham Town Centre is home to many public houses and bars, especially in the Frogmore area. The White Horse Pub appeared on Britain's toughest pubs. The town features the Old Wickham Summit, formerly the largest dry ski slope in England, before it was destroyed in a fire. Construction work was due to start in September 2008, on what would have become England's third and largest indoor real snow ski centre. In May 2009, it was announced that construction would be delayed due to difficulties getting a planning consent amendment. As of January 31, 2012 it was announced that the site was up for sale. High End and Manor borders the northern urban fringe of High Wycombe, approximately two miles from the centre of town. Built in the Regency period, 
the architecturally appealing house was also home to Benjamin Disraeli for three decades in the mid-19th century. The three-floor mansion is situated in its own extensive grounds with beautifully landscaped gardens which back into the attractive Chiltern countryside. It is open to the public all year round as an historical attraction. The local council maintains a landmark statue of a red lion above the former Woolworth store on the high street. Its significance dates back to when the building was the Red Lion Hotel. Since its installation, the lion has been replaced several times and has had to undergo extensive repair due to damage from both the elements and human interference. Another notable landmark is the ruins of the Hospital of St. John the Baptist, which is located on Eastern Street, just east of the town centre opposite the Rye Parkland, and dates to the 12th century. The stone structure is one of the very oldest in Wickham, and is said to contain stone used from the Roman villa on the Rye. The site of the ancient Desborough Castle is situated between the Desborough and Castlefield suburbs of the town, and provides their names. Industry Wickham was once renowned for furniture making and furniture design remains an important element of the town's university curriculum, Buckinghamshire New University. Among the best-known furniture companies were Ickle and Egom. The largest remaining furniture maker is Stuart Lintford, creating bespoke furniture and limited editions. The Living Chair Museum is sited at Stuart Linford's premises displaying many antique Windsor chairs and the tools used to make them. The River Wye runs through the valley, where beech trees were cut down by the furniture industry to forming the town centre, with housing along the slopes. The town was also home to the worldwide postage stamp and bank note printer Harrison & Sons. More recent industries in the town include the production of paper, precision instruments, clothing and plastics. Many of these are situated in an industrial area of the Cressix district, southwest of the town centre. The two largest sites belong to the companies Swan and Verco, who until 2004 sponsored the local football team, Wickham Wanderers. Wickham's industrial past is reflected on the town's motto Industria Dietet, Industry in Riches. The motto can be found on Town Crest and Mayor's Badge of Office. Local Attractions Bradenham, Chiltern Hills, High Endon Manor, West Wickham Caves, West Wickham Park, Wickham Museum, Odds Farm Park, Recreation, Booker Gliding Club and two flying schools at Wickham Air Park, the modern name for Booker Airfield, to the south of the M40 motorway on the western edge of the town. Many of the replica aircraft used in the film industry, for example in films such as Those Magnificent Men in Their Flying Machines, Aces High and the Blue Max were built and flown there. There is a restaurant with outdoor picnic tables that is open to visitors beneath the control tower. Wickham Air Park is one of the busiest general aviation airfields in the UK. The air park is also home to Buckinghamshire Squash and Racquetball Club. There is also a large leisure centre to the south of town at the top of Marlow Hill. Many sporting activities take place here and there is an Olympic-sized swimming pool which can be split into two 25-metre pools by raising and lowering a wall. The leisure centre was designed by renowned architect John Attenborough. The council are currently finalising plans for the new centre, its location still not public knowledge. After a £82 million investment into the former Hollowall Mead Open swimming pool site in the town's Rye Park, a new sports and leisure facility was reopened in the summer of 2012. Housing a new experimental scheme to knock down old council flats in Micklefield and replace them with housing association properties was approved by John Prescott in 2003 after overwhelming approval by council residents. There are many different housing areas within the town, some of which such as the Castlefield district have gained a bad reputation for crime and drug-related problems. The town is a diverse mixture of large council estates built in the 1930s, 1950s and 1960s that sprawl up the valley sides, compact Victorian terraces in the bottom of the valley to the east and west of town, and desirable areas for wealthy commuters. The Amersham Hill area is noted for its large period properties and leafy streets. Recent developments are showing a tendency towards blocks of flats, and developers are mainly making use of brownfield sites. Sport, the town's football team, Wickham Wanderers, play at Adams Park, named after Frank Adams who donated the old Lokes Park ground to the club. 
they relocated to their current stadium in 1990. They are currently members of Football League 2 and have been members of the Football League since 1993 when they were promoted as champions of the Football Conference. Since then they have enjoyed two notable cup runs and three recent promotions from the fourth tier of the English League to League 1. They have been managed by a number of high-profile football figures, including Martin O'Neill, Lowry Sanchez and Tony Adams. Their current manager is former Queen's Park Rangers player manager Gareth Ainsworth. The London Wasps rugby union team has also played at Adams Park for home games since the 2002-03 season, the club's most successful spell. Nicholas Sanders, a female track and field athlete who is current European indoor champion and world outdoor silver medalist for 400 metres, and also current world bronze medalist for outdoor for a 400 metres relay, is a High Wycombe native. The High Wycombe Amateur Boxing Club is located on Lee Street. Closest cities, towns and villages, twin towns, High Wycombe is twinned with, Kelkheim, Germany. References. External links. Wickham District Council, Wickham Euro 1911 Encyclopedia Britannica article, St. Augustine's Church Euro High Wickham, the High Wickham Society, the Living Chair Museum, the Parish Church, Swap a Euro sharing Wickham's old photographs, the High Wickham Islamic Society, bus routes in the local area, bus routes in the wider area, from the River Wye and the Old English word for a wooded valley, Coombe. Wickham appears in the Doomsday Book and was noted for having six mills. The town once featured a Roman villa which was excavated three times, most recently in 1954. Mosaics and a bathhouse were unearthed at the site on what is now the Rye Parkland. High Wickham was the home of Prime Minister Benjamin Disraeli. The existence of a settlement at High Wickham was first documented as Wickham in 970. The parish church was consecrated by Wolf Stan, the visiting Bishop of Worcester, in 1086. The town received market borough status in 1222, and built its first moot hall in 1226, with a market hall being built later in 1476. Trade and industrial development, High Wycombe remained a mill town through medieval and Tudor times, manufacturing lace and linen cloth. It was also a stopping point on the way from Oxford to London, with many travellers staying in the town's taverns and inns. The paper industry was notable in 17th and 18th century High Wycombe. The wise waters were rich in chalk, and therefore ideal for bleaching pulp. The pe High Wycombe, often referred to as just Wycombe, is a large town in Buckinghamshire, England. It is 29 miles west-northwest of Charing Cross in London. This information is also engraved on the Corn Market building in the centre of the town. According to the 2011 census High Wycombe has a population of 120,256 making it the second largest town in the county of Buckinghamshire after Milton Keynes. The High Wycombe urban area, the conurbation of which the town is the largest component, has a population of 133,204. High Wycombe is mostly an unparished area in the Wycombe district. Part of the urban area constitutes the civil parish of Chepping Wickham, which had a population of 14,455 according to the 2001 census a euro. This parish represents that part of the ancient parish of Chepping Wickham which was outside the former municipal borough of Wickham. Wickham is a combination of industrial and market town, with a traditional emphasis on furniture production. There has been a market held in the high street since at least the Middle Ages. History, Early History The name Wickham Comes Paper Industry was soon overtaken by the cloth industry. Wickham's most famous industry, furniture took hold in the 19th century, with furniture factories setting up all over the town. Many terraced workers' houses were built to the east and west of town to accommodate those working in the furniture factories. In 1875, it was estimated that there were 4,700 chairs made per day in High Wickham. When Queen Victoria visited the town in 1877, the council organized an arch of chairs to be erected over the high street, with the words Long Live the Queen printed boldly across the arch for the Queen to pass under. The town's population grew from 13,000 residents in 1881 to 29,000 in 1928. Wickham was completely dominated socially and economically by the furniture industry and, 
Consequently, there was considerable unemployment and social problems when the industry declined in the 1960s. 20th century, by the 1920s, many of the housing areas of Wickham had decayed into slums. A slum clearance scheme was initiated by the council in 1932, whereby many areas were completely demolished and the residents rehoused in new estates that sprawled above the town on the valley slopes. Some of the districts demolished were truly decrepit, such as Newland, where most of the houses were condemned as unfit for human habitation, with sewage pouring down the street and people sharing one room in cramped quarters of subdivided flats. However, some areas such as St. Mary's Street contain beautiful old buildings with fine examples of 18th and 19th century architecture. From 1940 to 1968 High Wycombe was the seat of the RAF Bomber Command. Moreover, during World War II, from May 1942 to July 1945, the U.S. Army Air Force's 8th Air Force Bomber Command, codenamed Pine Tree, was based at a former girls' school at High Wycombe. This formally became headquarters, 8th Air Force, on February 22, 1944. Since 1968 all commands of the Royal Air Force have been housed at RAF High Wycombe. In the 1960s the town centre was redeveloped. This involved culverting the River Wye under concrete and demolishing most of the old buildings in Wickham's town centre. Two shopping centres were built along with many new multi-storey car parks, office blocks, flyovers and roundabouts. On the open area known as Frogmore the original cast iron fountain and some Georgian buildings have been torn down. A recent town centre regeneration project originally planned to uncover the Y, but in a change of plans a new shopping centre has been built over the whole area, right up to the road which runs parallel with the river. Modern day High Wycombe, High Wycombe comprises a number of suburbs including Booker, Bowardine, Castlefield, Cressex, Dawes Hill, Green Street, Homer's Farm, Micklefield, Sands, Terriers, Totteridge and Wickham Marsh, as well as some nearby villages, Downley, Hyslemia and Tyler's Green. Although situated in the county of Buckinghamshire, which is one of the most affluent parts of the country, Wickham contains some considerably deprived areas. In 2007, a GMB Union survey ranked the Wickham district as the fourth dirtiest in the southeast and the 26th dirtiest in the whole UK. The survey found litter on 28.5% of streets and highways. Data for the survey were taken from the government's 2005-06 Audit Commission.